New light blue hot springs have formed in Yellowstone's Norris Geyser Basin. Scientists discovered steaming, silica-rich pools in bare ground just months earlier, proving that Yellowstone is still active. Beneath the park's surface, superheated water and steam constantly form and transform the landscape. This is a stark example of how quickly Earth's forces can create something astonishing and entirely new. This wasn't a single catastrophic eruption. Instead, these pools emerged after several months of more minor steam-driven eruptions. The U.S. Geological Survey compiled the timeline using satellite imagery, acoustic sensors, and field surveys. The photos show nothing but bare ground. By early January, a shallow depression had formed. By mid-February, the depression had filled with warm, silica-rich water, which gives the pools their distinctive light blue color. This eruption occurs when extremely hot water becomes trapped beneath the surface. When the pressure becomes too high, the water turns to steam, forcing the ground to rupture and releasing rocks and mud. This event was relatively small compared to other eruptions in the park. scientists did not detect seismic signals, which typically occur during more violent eruptions. Most of the debris was small rocks and sediment near the pool's edge. Acoustic sensors recorded low-level signals on the 15th of January and the 11th of February. This pattern suggests that the eruption occurred gradually over several weeks. The pool was fully formed when researchers arrived at the site in April. The water temperature was recorded at around 109 degrees Fahrenheit, which is warm but not as hot as some of Yellowstone's hottest features. The Norris Geyser Basin is Yellowstone's oldest and most active hydrothermal area, known for its dramatic changes. In April, an eruption at nearby Porcelain Terrace was powerful enough to be recorded by seismic instruments. In July, a separate event at Black Diamond Pool sent rocks hundreds of feet into the air. Compared to those eruptions, this new pool was relatively calm. However, it demonstrates how dynamic and unpredictable the park's underground plumbing system can be. If you visit Norris Geyser Basin, stay on the boardwalk and follow all safety guidelines. In Yellowstone, appearances can be deceiving. What appears to be solid ground may be a thin layer of boiling water and steam. Meanwhile, a four seven-year-old Florida man visiting Yellowstone National Park experienced this bittersweetly when he got too close to a bison. The animal reacted defensively and attacked, goring the man, causing minor injuries. The attack occurred around 3.15 p.m. in the park's Lake Village area. This was the first bison goring incident of the season in Yellowstone. On average, there are one or two such incidents each year in the park. Bison will defend their territory when threatened and have injured more people in Yellowstone than any other animal, according to Yellowstone National Park. They are unpredictable and can run three times faster than a human, A 
A Yellowstone National Park spokesperson said the incident remains under investigation and declined to provide additional details. However, the spokesperson referred Gear Junkie to the park's guidelines for wildlife safety and photography. Wildlife in Yellowstone and other national parks can be hazardous. That's why the park recommends that people stay 25 yards away from bison, bighorn, sheep, elk, and coyotes, and at least 100 yards away from bears and wolves. According to Yellowstone officials, there are about 5,400 bison in the park. Bison are iconic and photogenic animals. People love to photograph bison sometimes too often. Wild animals can become aggressive if people don't respect their space. 